Hi everyone, Larry Delano here again. This time starting into what were referred to as grabbing attacks within the system. We finished the 40 waza that were taught and now we're going to move into the grabbing attacks. Um, a little bit of talk about these. The, these waza and the, especially these grabbing attacks are things that Gordon was doing when he was uh, in the Palama settlement growing up. Uh, and carried forth with him into other things he did and things were added to him and taken away but this was his presentation of, of of defending against different types of grabs to the body to the arms to the collar to the shoulder the neck the hair uh, and you may have seen these in other forms and other methods I'm not saying that these are the best or the worst these are just what was back then and so we'll step through these and uh, talk a little bit about them the very first one was for a two-handed grab to the throat. So a person would grab you like this. Now, the trouble with a lot of waza like this and, and techniques is the attack isn't really done as an attack like that may be. But we'll talk about more, that more as we go as to different things and different ways of attacking and, and uh, take a look at how it affects the grab attack itself or the defense against the grab. So uh, in this here, this is the best way to look at it. Standing like this, let's say I'm here and someone over to grab my chest. Uh, they, we were taught through the system, whether it's the best way or worst way to do it, uh, there's certainly other ways to do it. But the hands went up, and you kind of put your legs in, and knees in here uh, to prevent, uh, try to prevent kicks to the groin, trying to protect that. So the hands went up here into protecting you and cut, and it would squeeze in against side. They were like this. So if the guy let go and tried to hit you, your hands were right here. Uh, you might think, well, if I raise my hands right there and the guy's right in my face, why don't I hit him? That, that's certainly a defense. I mean, you could, you could put your hands up, grab his wrist, and start smacking him right in the face. Um, the one thing the guy could do if he was holding you here and you tried to do it, he could you know, twist like this trying to block your palm heel strike. Also, um, on this, if you grabbed him here, you know, where do you hit him? Right in the face or contour more to his face, like come into his jaw area here, lifting into the jaw. Uh, also, poking in the eyes. You know, the, um, in a lot of self-defense stuff, they poke to the eyes, kick to the groin, uh, hit to the throat. You know, vulnerable things. Kicking into the knees when somebody is close to you. Using something as a strike before you do something else. Like, if you put your hands up like this here, you could go right to the eyes very easily before you actually did the technique. You could put your hands up, grab his hands and start hitting him in the face here uh, and then poking him in the eyes, uh, getting very violent about it like that, but making him release so you can get away. But looking back at the basic technique was your hands went up, they went together squeezing against the guy's arms and interlaced. And a lot of people don't like the interlacing, you know, on this, but it, and this was, and this method here was interlacing and pushing against the guy's arms and then sliding down with him. Notice how my elbows are in close, sliding in to the top of his hand right here to lock him into your chest. And once you had him locked into the chest, you stepped, in this case, the left leg back, but you didn't yank him back. You dropped down in here, not so much yanking him back, but down and then two quick strikes right to the face, twisting like this to knock his hands off you, and then a hammer blow, and then a flat punch to the body, and then moving away. That, that was the basic uh, release of the two-hand grab in that one. Um, issues with this. Uh, Mike Cassino and I have talked about this, and he's pointed out, which is very correct in a lot of these grabs like this, if you're trying to do this waza like this, um, and the guy rushes against you like this, um, he's gonna drive you back. Um, so if I were to go here and pull in and start to drop back, and I've got you grabbed, and I rush in pushing you like this, or step in pushing like this, I'm gonna push you right over. So locking him in like that could become a problem. So one, one thing you've gotta do is when you're in here, if you drop back and he tries to push you, you've gotta be able to kind of move with his push here. Even, even from the standpoint of a stepping motion here, as he tries to shove you to re regain your balance or keep your balance and to fight back against him. Or if you've got him here and he's pushing you and trying to get you off balance, you can let go and go for the eyes right there. You've got his hands, go for the eyes. Both hands in here, both hands to the eyes. 
You can try to hit the ears in here if you have to. Um, you hit the palm heel, run a knee in to the guy. You can do all those things while you're trying to do that. But a guy may try to grab you and slam you into the wall. So if I'm here and I go here and the guy slams me into a wall, I'm like this. Okay, at that point, uh, you, you could try to hit here, boom, he's right there, hit and try to take his arms off here. Hit and take the arms off and then pound away and here as you attack back. You could use it that way. But this is the very first one and there'll be other ones that are more useful against the wall if you get pushed back into the wall. And there'll be, in some cases, uh, there's counters for what you try to do. Like if I, if I grab you and you pull me down like that, like I said, I may want to rush you and push you and let go of you to break the ground because you're trying to counter me as that's going. Uh, also, what we talked about was what you do before you go for the grab. In practice, usually, we went for the grab. And you've got to try it different ways. A guy being just grabbing you, a guy trying to lift you up, a guy shoving you against the wall, being really rough, you know, with this like pulling you in close to him. What, what are you going to do? Remember, you've always got your hands free there. If he pulls you in, you know, there's, his face is right there. Go for it. A flick to the eyes accomplishes a lot. He's got his hands tied up and you're here, but he may try to knee you. So as I, as I go up here, if he pulls, pulls me and tries to knee me, well, you've got this pulled in. Slip back if he's shoving you, you know, so you can glide, glide back in here as you roll back from this to keep your balance. So the basic one was he grabs, you come up, squeeze in, pull in, lock the hands, drop down, hit, hit, twist, Hit, hit, move away, off angle. Uh, that is grab attack number one. Thank you.